It's been three years since Hurricane Katrina hit the Gulf Coast. And we all know it was one of the worst and most destructive hurricane storms in history. You know, one of the most uh, vivid lessons that we saw after Katrina was a sharp distinction in the economic and social status of citizens who lived here in this devastated area with uh, tens of thousands of suffering poor people, most of them African-American, uh, with no care, and the federal government practically ignoring their plight. And it was not only a, a demonstration to Americans of the inadequacy of the support from Washington, but it sent a signal around the world that our own government couldn't take care of our own people. And to see this happen and to continue for three years has been very discouraging. We are so honored that you took the time to come. Well, and, thank you. And it means a lot because uh, we're not fixed. Well, you know, that, that's the kind of thing I need to, to be able to tell the, the whole nation because most people in America think everything's okay now. Yes. It's a lesson we ought not ever to forget in this country, and I don't have any doubt that when we have a Democrat back in the White House this January, Barack Obama, that he will make sure that this never happens again. Yeah. We don't have a bank. We don't have a, 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 a supermarket. We don't have a hospital in this area. We have one small clinic. Mm -hmm. And we really need the thing that sure we need for this community to come back mm -hmm. properly. For the last 25 years since I left the White House, uh, Rosa and I have worked full-time at the Carter Center. And we have programs in 71 countries on Earth right now. Well, some of the things that we've seen in New Orleans after Katrina hit reminded us very much of problem that we see in the poverty-stricken parts of the world. There was no water known. Yeah, I remember I was here. Gas known. Yeah. Electricity. Yeah. A lot of National Guard, and you couldn't come and live uh -huh. here. That's right. Well, I've been down here to build homes side by side with these wonderful people in New Orleans who have never given up. Barack Obama's been on here to reach out to people and his deep awareness of what's going on in the Gulf region. And his deep religious faith as a Christian and his background as someone who's come from nowhere, you might say, to a high position uh, in, in the political world, all of those, I think, bode well for America. We still haven't collected from our insurance company, well, that's but good. we've gotten a lot of help from college students mm -hmm. and volunteer groups. That's our biggest help. Yeah, that's good. With the we volunteers. Need, yes, volunteers. Yeah. The thing that needs to be done in the future and that will be done under an Obama administration is to heal this country. There would be a, a, a high priority of the basic rights of the working people of our country, not just the super rich. Uh, there would be a, a rational approach made toward resolving uh, other crises like the energy crisis. The Democrats are for the working people, for those in need, to improve their quality of life. We had 23 feet of water, Goodness. and we have been forgotten back here, but it's my hope and faith is to see my neighborhood come back better than what it was, because we did all of this. I would say that the most redeeming feature of the aftermath of Katrina has been the indomitable spirit of the people who suffered most. They were abandoned by their governments, they took their own initiative. They didn't just sit back and wait for outside help. They welcomed tens of thousands of volunteers who came in as their partners when the government didn't do so. Their community spirit has been an inspiration to me and my wife, Rosen, every time we've, we've ever been here. You have to put yourself out there. You have to say, I don't know the beginning to the end. There are people, there are people all over America and looking forward to an opportunity with the government's partnership. And the change that needs to be made next year is to have an administration in Washington that genuinely cares about the American people and their lives at this time and their future.